Kenny and Veronica Jane Seltzer. Sports with Brian Kennedy. Weather with Justin Ryan and George Zabrecki. Weeknights on ABC 36 News at 6. The guy in your crew killed my friend. You had five minutes. Chicago PD, next Tuesday at 8, 7 central on My Network TV. Now at 10, are Lexington leaders just deflecting responsibility or actually trying to make a change? Protesters weigh in as the Urban County Council discusses policing. And UK reschedules its first football game of the season, but not because of coronavirus this time, directly at least. The beautiful stretch of weather is coming to an end. Expect a slow warm-up with a few showers. You're watching ABC 36 News at 10 on My Kentucky. Good evening. I'm glad you're here tonight. I'm Veronica Jean Seltzer. We begin tonight with breaking news. Congressman Andy Barr's wife, Carol Barr, has died suddenly and unexpectedly. Andy Barr's office released a statement just minutes ago saying Congressman Andy Barr's wife, Carol, passed away suddenly tonight at the family home in Lexington. During this tragic time, we respectfully ask for privacy for Congressman Barr and his family to grieve Mrs. Barr being called home to heaven. According to his office, the congressman is now focused on his two daughters. Congressman Barr says he may release a more detailed statement at a later date, but right now is solely focused on being a father to his two beautiful daughters, is what the statement said. Reaction is pouring in on the death of Congressman Andy Barr's wife, Carol. State Auditor Mike Harmon released this statement today, saying, My heart goes out to Andy on the sudden passing of his beautiful wife and a wonderful mother to their two girls, Carol. My family and I ask all Kentuckians to extend their heartfelt sympathy to the Barr and Level families, not only now, but in the days and weeks to come. And State Attorney General Daniel Cameron tweeting tonight this, saying he is heartbroken to learn of Carol Barr's passing. He says Carol was a wonderful mother and wife, and she was beloved by all who knew her. She will be deeply missed. He says his heartfelt prayers are with Andy, their children, and their entire family as they mourn the unspeakable loss. Our top story tonight at 10, Lexington City Council's Public Safety Committee began a detailed review of the city's police department, its collective bargaining agreement, and other details. It's what city leaders have called a fact-based review. As ABC 36's Christy Bollinger tells us, citizens heard everything from a condemnation of police brutality to mistakes and demands made by protesters. A long, tough, and important conversation began Tuesday among Lexington Council members, city's attorney, the police department, fraternal order of police, and the public. Several topics discussed were no-knock warrants, body cameras worn by officers, a collective bargaining agreement, and police bill of rights. Essentially what you've put before us is a set of regulations that the state has imposed on us, that we do not have the opportunity to change ourselves. Something mentioned often, a lot of protesters' demands are out of the hands of city government and local law enforcement, like changes to the Police Officer Bill of Rights, which is state law, and changes to the city and police union's collective bargaining agreement. I don't know that, that anything can be done on a meaningful level to the agreement without having some underlying basis in the state law done first. Protest organizers have told me they believe these claims are just a deflection, that city officials are trying to absolve themselves from any responsibility. But in a review of those demands, Police Lieutenant Jonathan Bastion noted several of them weren't based on the Lexington police contract. A lot of the discussion focused on no-knock warrants and the immediate moratorium to them, except in life and death cases. The department's current policy was discussed in detail. Are we perfect? No, but we realize what our job is. Anytime you do a no-knock, the no-knock search warrant is designed and specifically used to prevent loss of life. A council member brought up how that wasn't the case for Breonna Taylor in Louisville. Caused the moratorium a, quote, temporary fix. The chief says he was open to greater review of the policies. In regards to body cameras, the chief says over 400 are assigned to wear them, but some of the department aren't required to. Some of the people that are in, in uh, administrative or non-enforcement positions aren't going to use them that much, and there's a cost associated with them, and if they're not using them, why are we paying for them? The bargaining process was an important topic, specifically the disciplinary article in the contract. Note, the disciplinary process is handled by a police review board. That's made up in the bargaining process. With the exception of the board, the disciplinary 
article, that is basically incorporating the existing state law. Bastion says the FOP does not accept police brutality. Chrissy Bollinger, ABC 36 News. I mean, right, another beautiful day here in the Commonwealth. Will it last? Eh, yes and no. I'll get to that in just a moment. But right now with our live Fork Bain Sky View of EKU, good evening, Madison County, 68 degrees, dew point of 57. We have another beautiful night underway. Make sure your windows are open and turn those ACs off. Save some electricity with that. Look at the temperatures right now. We're dropping now nicely in the 60s. Frankfurt, though, you're still sitting at 72. Prestonburg, Harlan, well, you guys never got out of the 60s. You were some 20 degrees colder than we normally would be this time of year. Live HD shows we're in pretty good shape with the exception of some of our extreme eastern counties you can see some light rain there that will continue to drift towards the east we could see a few sprinkles tonight nothing really major and then i think we may see a few more for us tomorrow so here's your 36 hour forecast just a couple of showers in there but we're going to start warming up and we're going to start warming up in a big way come this weekend the first weekend of summer i'll have the details for you coming up in just a few minutes vj Thanks, George. In Woodford County, a homicide investigation after a man was found dead in Versailles. According to the coroner, 66-year-old David Clark was found shot to death in his home on Clifton Road Sunday afternoon. Investigators say Clark was a retired pipe fitter who did some farming. The coroner is awaiting preliminary autopsy results from the state medical examiner. So far, no suspects named or arrests made. In Kentucky, a kidnapping suspect from Lexington now charged after a chase that started in Berea came to an end in Lincoln County. According to investigators, 54-year-old David Wilson took off with a reported victim through several counties after officers tried to pull him over in Berea. Police say he shot at officers in Stanford, hopped out of his car, and then ran off, leaving the victim behind. According to investigators, Wilson reportedly broke into a house, but the homeowner greeted him with a gun. Investigators say they eventually arrested Wilson after they found him hiding under a home under construction. A sewer line break in Lexington led to a fish kill, according to the city. A contractor working on the East Hickman pump station hit a sewer main, causing more than 770,000 gallons of raw sewage to dump into East Hickman Creek, according to the city. About 50 fish were found dead, according to the city. People who went to Frankfurt to protest their unemployment claims had a surprise waiting for them when they arrived. Members of Governor Andy Bashir's unemployment insurance staff were there waiting for them. The group set up shop in the Capital Education Center and started helping those who need to have their unemployment claims processed still. About 45% of the state's workforce has filed for unemployment benefits since the coronavirus pandemic closed businesses earlier this year. Democratic Senate candidate Charles Booker has won a key endorsement from former Kentucky Secretary of State Allison Lundergan Grimes. It's a new sign of momentum for Booker's upstart bid for his party's nomination to challenge Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell in the fall. Grimes lost her Senate race against McConnell in 2014. She tweeted her endorsement for Booker, saying, Together, let's elect a new generation of leadership in Kentucky. The frontrunner in the Democratic race is Amy McGrath. Still ahead, warming up, but with some chances for showers and storms later in the week. We'll get the details next from meteorologist George Zabrecki. This portion of ABC 36 News is brought to you in part by Surplus Sales, flooring, cabinets, and much more. Oh, that's a bad call. That was a great call. That's the worst call I've ever seen. Great call. Horrible. It's a horrible call. Sports fans don't often see things the same way. Terrible call. That was a good call. Terrible call. But there's one call everyone can agree on. Call 811 before you dig. The free service that helps you avoid utility lines while you're digging. Know what's below. Call 811 before you dig. Safety! It's time for the Great American Sales Event at your local Ford store. And we're offering 0% financing for 72 months across the Ford lineup. With great savings on America's best-selling brand, there's never been a better time to buy. Hurry in before it's over. For a limited time, get 0% financing for 72 months across the Ford lineup. Hurry, it's the Great American Sales Event. Yeah, you got this. So go on. Kino here. Kino here. 
Kino anywhere. Play Kino your way. Online or at your favorite Kentucky lottery retailer. Yeah, you got this. Biederman Real Estate and Auctioneers. Homes, farms, real estate auctions. Call us today. We get it done. Wendy Williams, weekdays on My Kentucky. Lee and Haley, weekdays on ABC 36. I'm ABC 36's Tom Kenny. And I'm Veronica Jean Seltzer. Reserve your ticket today for the St. Jude Dream Home Giveaway. Help make a difference in the lives of children with cancer. Buy your ticket for a chance to win a new home today at dreamhome.org. There were 203 new coronavirus cases announced in Kentucky today. According to the state, that brings the total positives in the Commonwealth to at least 12,829. The state also reported seven new deaths. The total number of people who have now died from the virus in Kentucky is now 512. Guidelines were released today for pools reopening by the end of this month in the state. According to the state, swimming pools can reopen June 29th if they meet the state's social distancing requirements. The guidelines include the elimination of saunas, steam rooms, and waiting areas, and any chairs on deck should be spaced at least six feet apart. In Lexington, Mayor Linda Gorton previously announced the public pools in the city must stay closed for the summer. You can find a link to the full list of the state's guidelines at WTVQ.com. ABC 36 Storm Team Weather is brought to you by Kentucky Farm Bureau. In good weather and bad, there's Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. Big on commitment. The ABC 36 Storm Team Forecast. Independently certified, the most accurate in Central Kentucky. Ah, the beautiful weather we had today has spilled into tonight. This is our live Fork Bank Sky View of Hamburg, and we can see for miles and miles and miles. It's brought to us by Reed Spray Foam, and you can just see it. Again, a very beautiful night underway, including the temperatures right now down to 66 degrees once again. How did we're living right having this these many days of some beautiful nighttime weather in the middle of June? 66 right now. Notice the dew point still at 55, so we are going to be going down into the 50s. Not quite quite as chilly as it was this morning, but we'll take 50s anytime we can get it this time of year. All right, it's going to get hot, but not until the weekend, mainly because we call, have a, what we call a cutoff low, uh, low or storm system. Basically what that is, is so you're on a highway and there's a car on the side of the road. That car is not moving, all right? It's stuck, and that's what a cutoff low is in the atmosphere. It's stuck, and it's going to give us some possibly a few showers and some extra clouds, but eventually it's going to weaken and we're going to warm up. That's why it's going to take us till the weekend. And uh, don't forget about Father's Day, you know? Us dads, we get one day a year. You moms, you got the whole year. So uh, be nice to dad. And that's coming up on Sunday, the day after the first day of summer, which is Saturday. Live HD right now, we're in good shape. But as we head off towards the east, you can see some showers out that way. And they are moving in our direction. You kind of see here on our satellite radar, they're kind of going from east to west, kind of unusual at this point. There's that cutoff low. It's that system right there is going to drift a little further north. A big warm up off to the west. That will be working its way in. Here's our future cast. Uh, tonight, we're going to be in pretty good shape. Tomorrow morning, I think it'll be fine as well. But as we add some sun to all this moisture, it's starting to work its way in. We're going to see some spotty showers. And then they're going to go away. This is tomorrow night and on into Thursday morning. But then let's add a little more sun. What do we get? A few more showers. And this is going to be the pattern as we go through right into your upcoming weekend. We're going to see possibly some stronger storms on Saturday and Sunday, but not a washout. They'll be just out there. You should be able to set that grilling in. 58 degrees for us tonight with that isolated shower. Tomorrow, partly cloudy skies. Again, an isolated shower. A little bit warmer than today. We'll see high about 81. After that, we put the... The heater on for the weekend, temperatures at least 90, maybe a little more, depends on the coverage of those showers and thunderstorms. We'll be right back with more news for you. Are you tired of juggling your finances and can't afford those remodeling projects? Ceramic tiles starting at 59 cents a square foot. Come on down to Surplus Sales for some great deals. 
as Kentucky carefully reopens the economy, SNS Tire is here while taking precautions to keep you and our employees safe. We offer drop-off service and free local vehicle pickup and delivery. And now through August 5th, buy four eligible Firestone tires and get a $60 Firestone Visa prepaid card by mail. Or get up to $90 when you use your new or existing CFNA credit card account. For Firestone tires and auto service from local experts you've trusted for years, come visit SNS Tire today. When you fall and can't get help, help, you will lie on the floor for hours or days in constant terrible anguish, which often results in a tragic outcome. But with Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. Don't worry, help is on the way. With any of Life Alert's three emergency systems, help can be summoned immediately, whether at home... I've fallen and I can't get up. In the bathroom... I've fallen in the shower. Or on the go... Help, I'm in the park and I can't get up. And batteries never need charging. Life Alert saves a life every 11 minutes. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-430-8113. That's 1-800-430-8113. Call now, 1-800-430-8113. Are you tired of juggling your finances and can't afford those remodeling projects? Surplus Sales has hardwood flooring starting at only $1.99 per square foot. Come on down to Surplus Sales for some great deals. Hi, I'm 50 Cent. I'm Guillermo Diaz. I'm Victor Rasuk. I'm Peter from The Bachelor. I'm Christina Vidal Mitchell. You're watching. You're watching ABC 36. This is the place. This is the place. Colin Kaepernick could be on his way back to playing professional football. Kaepernick has not played for an NFL team since the 2016 season. That's when he started kneeling during the national anthem to protest social injustice and police brutality. Last week, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell said in a video posted to the NFL's social media the league should have listened earlier to players' racism concerns. He didn't mention Kaepernick by name at the time, but on ESPN last night, Goodell did mention his name. Goodell encouraged teams to sign Kaepernick and said he would support it. Call it the coronavirus conflict, and here is the latest. UK's season-opening football game is scheduled on the same day as the rescheduled Kentucky Derby. So the football game is being moved two days earlier to Thursday, September 3rd. No kickoff time yet for the Eastern Michigan game. It'll be on the SEC network. And we still don't know if there will be any fans in the stands. You don't have to look too far to find last season's leading wide receiver in Kentucky high school football, Tate's Creek's Miles Thomas. Over the weekend, the former Commodore announced where he is headed off to college. ABC 36 Sports Director Brian Kennedy spoke with Thomas on how he ended up signing with a school more than 1,700 miles away. If you've gone to a Tate's Creek football game the last two years, this was a common sight. Luke Doobie hitting Miles Thomas for six. Nell Thomas is headed to play college ball for Idaho State. So how Idaho State? Well, Thomas says it was his last opportunity to play college football. And yes, he knows how far away it is. Like, I was very kind of like, oh, like, this is real, like, 10 minutes. Like, I was just like, oh, man, I don't know. It's far. But then I just had to stop thinking, like, caring what other people think. And just either way, I'm going to be away somehow, so... A plane ain't going to take that long. Thomas is the son of former Miami Hurricanes wide receiver and Kentucky wide receivers coach Lamar Thomas. While having a dad who won two national titles can create pressure, he always felt he was a hooper. It wasn't until his quarterback, Luke Doobie, finally talked him into playing football. I was so caught in basketball. Luke was like, bro, you got to play. And I was like, nah. So I didn't play freshman year, and I regret it so much. But listen to him sophomore year, and I, I thank him for – Get me to play because I love it. Tate's Creek head football coach Jonathan Smith likely thanks Doobie as well. The Doobie Thomas tandem led the Commodores to semi state last year. He says, though, we're only seeing the beginning of what Thomas can do. You know, a lot of people have overlooked that Miles has only been playing football for pretty much two years. You know, last year was his first year of really ever being a starter. And then he moves into his senior year and has a phenomenal season. So I feel like the sky's the limits for him if he wants, you know, if he keeps focusing in the right areas and putting forth the, the right work. I think the sky's the limit for him. The idea Thomas can get better is scary. He finished last season with 1,797 receiving yards. 
That was the highest in the state. Being the state's leading receiver meant a lot to him. It meant everything to me. I, somehow it didn't mean everything to all the other coaches, but like like recruiting-wise, I could have did even better if I would have just shut up sometimes and like, there's sometimes like I went hard this year, but like I could have did better. I could have did been in all in more. So, what does the future hold for Thomas? Well, if it goes as planned, he says everyone will know who Miles Thomas is. I want my name to be known, and I want people to see like, oh wow, he really is doing making some of himself. And all those people that said I wouldn't get enough, I want them to see. So it's it's just bettering myself though. Really, like I want to become the best version of me I can. But like I do want the doubters to see. For ABC 36 Sports, I'm Brian Kennedy. Ribs, pulled pork, chicken, and all the fixings. Made fresh daily with love by love. I finally found you. You know, you can find us anywhere at tallysbbq.com. We, we be, be smoking. I was in the hospital with my son for 18 months. When he got injured, I knew I had to be strong. I just remember rushing into his room and giving him a big hug and letting him know I was there. These veterans and families are just a few of the heroes we serve at Homes for Our Troops. We build specially adapted custom homes with features like wheelchair access and automatic door openers that allow them to focus on their recovery and family. This house is freedom. It's hope. It's a new beginning. Visit HFOTUSA.org. Let's talk about America. Not policies. Not taxes. Not tweets. But how incredible our country is. Left, right, up, down. State lines to winding coastlines. Urban, suburban, and rural. We all deserve to live in a community that's clean, green, and thriving. And we all share in the responsibility to create beauty that ripples from one neighborhood to another and one block to the next. We are Keep America Beautiful. The nonprofit empowering people like you to take action every day at home, work, and in the community. Learn more about Keep America Beautiful and how you can join in. Visit kab.org. Together, we can do beautiful things. Closed captioning for ABC 36 News is brought to you by the Hearing and Speech Center, a sound beginning. Breaking news right now, just coming into the newsroom. Crews have just found the body of missing swimmer Madison Central football player Emmanuel Pruitt, who went under last week in Harrington Lake when swimming with friends. We will have more on this breaking news on ABC 36 News tonight at 11. Now in today's Your Health, a new study finds those who don't have insurance or are underinsured are more likely to become severely ill if infected with the coronavirus. Mandy Gaither has more in today's Health Minute. A lack of insurance or living in one of the 14 states that haven't expanded Medicaid may cause a COVID-19 illness to be more severe, according to a new study. The research published in the Journal of General Internal Medicine found that more than 18 million Americans who are at an increased risk of a severe form of COVID-19 have little or no insurance. Those who don't have adequate insurance coverage may delay care because of treatment cost concerns that could increase the risk that they will have more severe symptoms and be more likely to further spread the disease. The authors from Harvard Medical School, the City University of New York at Hunter College, and the Cambridge Health Alliance wrote that people who are more likely to be underinsured or uninsured tended to be people of color, people who have limited family income, and people who live in rural areas. They say those who live in a state without Medicaid expansion 
are 52% more likely to be inadequately insured compared to those who live in states that had expanded Medicaid. For today's Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. In today's business report, shoppers showed up in force as soon as stores started reopening last month for the first time since the coronavirus pandemic began. Retail sales surged 17.7% in May. That is a record increase, the biggest one-month surge since 1992. It was also far better than economists had expected. According to consensus estimates from Refinitiv, industry sales were expected to climb about 8% from April. Hilton is cutting 2,100 corporate jobs as it faces the worst crisis in the hotel chain's 101-year history. According to the company, it is also extending previously announced furloughs and reduced work hours. Corporate pay cuts will be in place for up to an additional 90 days. You can help a child today who is suffering from a life-threatening illness. All you have to do is buy a ticket in the St. Jude Dream Home giveaway. Tickets are only $100 each. All the money goes to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, where families never receive a bill for treatment, travel, housing, or food. Your ticket not only helps St. Jude, but enters you in the drawing for this year's $400,000 St. Jude Dream Home under construction in the Home Place subdivision off Polo Club Boulevard in Lexington. Go to dreamhome.org right now to get your ticket. Buy your ticket today and you'll have a chance at the Dream Home and the bonus prize at John Deere Mower. The drawing for all the great prizes is August 13th. Again, go to dreamhome.org to enter to win. And stay with us because we'll have a final check of your forecast next. If you know someone that takes exceptional care of your loved one, ABC 36 would like to feature them in our Golden Care Provider of the Month. Nominate a caregiver or volunteer who has made a difference in your life at WTVQ.com. Brought to you by Golden Law Offices in Lexington. Now is the time to climb. Southeast Mountain Guides is offering you 50% off $52 vouchers towards Via Ferrata Climbing Adventures. Just $26 for $52 vouchers while supplies last. Go to WTVQ.com to get your Southeast Mountain Guides voucher today. Are you tired of juggling your finances and can't afford those remodeling projects? Surplus Sales has laminate flooring starting at 69 cents per square foot, including free underlayment with purchase. Come on down to Surplus Sales for some great deals. Do you suffer with knee pain due to arthritis? Do you have Medicare or private insurance? Then the Arthritis and Knee Pain Center of Lexington has great news for you. We're specialists in the treatment of knee and joint pain with state-of-the-art non-surgical treatments designed to replace the cushioning in your joints. It hurt real bad walking around and trying to do things. But after you get it, you feel a little bit more confident and you don't have the pain. These aren't traditional joint injections. They are precisely targeted, FDA-approved treatments that place a pain-relieving, lubricating gel directly into the joint, providing comfort, pain relief, and improved joint mobility. Even better, Medicare and most major private insurance cover this procedure. It's enabled me to go years without knee replacement. Call now to schedule your risk-free screening. There's no obligation. Get the pain relief you deserve now. Call 1-833-279-3520 or visit arthritisneepain.com. Are you tired of juggling your finances and can't afford those remodeling projects? Surplus Sales has beautiful kitchen cabinets at unbeatable prices. In stock and ready to take home. Come on down to Surplus Sales for some great deals. All right, there's a lot on this seven-day. The bottom line is, is that uh, each and every day, especially in the afternoon. Now, if you've ever been to Florida, you get afternoon thunderstorms. That's what we're going to see. Uh, 90s for the weekend, and it all depends on how much rain we get. depends how hot it gets. If we get less thunderstorms, we'll be in the lower 90s. A little more will be in the upper 80s. But, of course, Saturday, the first day of summer, and, of course, Father's Day is coming up. You got something Just for your father? Just in time for the summer solstice. Oh, I wish I could go visit my dad. He's in New York, but I'll give him a special Father's Day message anyway. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.